Hi everyone, it's Jay Whitney Art, or Jessica, as you are more than welcome to call me. And I decided since it's day 15 of Inktober that we are going to kind of do a recap of everything that we've done so far. And I'll share with you some of the tools that I've used. And if we have any time, some tips and tricks of how I've been getting through this. I'll let you know if we have time. So starting off, we have day one and day two. Um, day one is gargoyle, probably my favorite. I, I was not looking forward to this one the most, but I love, love, love it. And then the next day is scurry. We just got somebody running away. And I, I'm realizing that I draw legs really long. I don't know why. It's just, even on this one, the legs are kind of long. So day three is bat. And I went, you know, kind of the different direction and just went with the baseball bat. It being so dark does make it look a little scary, a little ominous, like what is she about to hit? Uh, this doesn't have anything to do with Inktober. It was uh, Beyonce and Solange took a picture and I thought it was really cute. So I recreated it. Tag Beyonce, just kidding. Day four is <laughs> Scallop. This is one of my favorites as well. I redid a Johannes Vermeer um, painting, uh, a sea scallop and, you know, kind of the shape scallop. This one also doesn't have anything to do with Inktober but it is the uh, basis of Batty Tober, which I'm also kind of doing. Um, day six, because we skipped day five, it's bouquet, it's flowers. I don't love it, but it's okay, cause I did it. Day seven is trip. Um, I combined the peach Tober prompt uh, trees for this one, and it's a orange Scooby-Doo van. Number eight is match, and we're going matching body parts because Frankenstein's story is top tier, top tier horror story. I really like this one. Um, this is for Peachtober. It is mask, and I used um, gold calli calligraphy ink to make this one, so it's kind of cool. I don't really know why I'm not doing Peachtober, but I just ended up not doing it. Anyway, it's number nine is Nest. Um, I really like this one. I'm gonna keep saying that. I like these. I'm liking how this is turning out. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. Um, this one is Krabby, day 10. Um, another favorite. Really, really a fan of this one. It's kind of gory, but it's spooky season. It should all be gory. Okay, this was for a TikTok, so don't. Um, and day 11 is um, Eagle. I redid this cheerleading picture I drew with my mom a couple years ago. She was a cheerleader for the Adam City Eagles. Um, I just have it in a different sketchbook because I wasn't planning on doing it and then I did it and it was in the wrong sketchbook. <laughs> but we're back. Day 12 is Forget. And this is the one that I used inspiration from um, another artist from back in the day, Max Ernst. I should probably have figured out what the name of the painting was, but I didn't. This one is day 13, which is kind. I like this one. I really do. <laughs> I really do. Uh, this is the one that I had already drawn. So I did a whole thing about tracing it and moving it over. This one is empty day 14 which we posted yesterday. Um, it's just, you know, a blank canvas. And today is day 15 and that is an armadillo. It's an armadillo. What do you want me to say? <laughs> and you can get a quick sneak peek, peek of tomorrow's um, day 16 prompt. Okay, so here we have the supplies that I'm actually using. I made a whole big post about what I thought I was going to use. And then this is what I have actually been using. There are a little bit of things that are different, like some of the color pencils aren't gonna be the same. And um, I did use another color for a couple of the prompts, but for the most part, this is it. This is my um, preliminary sketches that I completed in September that have been very useful for this month because I haven't had to come up with too many prompts. Um, to, to find concepts. I've already sketched them out for the most part. I'm using um, a Bristol um, sketchbook. This is acrylic ink. 
um, pretty much 99% is all black, all black everything. And I already need to replace uh, that bottle because it is less than half, surprisingly. So I'm using a round brush. Um, I think it says size four, but it's super versatile because I can get really thin lines and I can get not really thick line, but thicker lines. You know, I can do a wash on a whole area and not have to use a bunch of different brushes. This is my dip pen. I don't think it has a brand name. I got it from, hmm, I don't remember where I got it from, but it came with a bunch of different nibs. I tried some of the other nibs, not really working for, you know, like my style. This one, you can get thick and thin lines-ish. I think this is a 003. Um, I think it's like a comic, comic book nib, either way. This is an erasable color pencil. I think the color is Carmine, um, but that's what the initial sketch is used. And then I kind of erase it down and then I use this one. I'm sticking with kind of like red tones for my under sketch before I do the inking. This one is magenta. And I think these are, these have to be wax based colored pencils. They're really good with the water. Um, and then I sometimes, um, not, not super often, but sometimes I do use this white uh, ballpoint um, pen for like adding highlights or like fixing mistakes. If I do, you know, if I go outside of the lines, if I spill ink or something, super handy. Oh, I also use another one that's a, a paint marker. I didn't show it, but I use this in a paint marker rarely, but you know, it is a part of, you know, what I'm using every day. So these are more like tools for painting that I use. I have these two small jars that I keep water in. Sometimes I use one for um, like cleaning, the other one for like clean water that I use for, you know, watering down the ink. I use this eyedropper so that I'm not like pouring water into the wells. I'm using, you know, that to get it from the jar and put it in the well and then super important to keep my you know brushes clean and soak up areas if I make them too wet as a microfiber microfiber towel <laughs> I couldn't say that fast for nothing and then this is the ceramic palette that I've been using the whole time uh, super easy you can use alcohol or isopropyl alcohol to get the ink out super easy and that's it shout out to you for making it to the end of this little video um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope that you enjoyed kind of seeing what I worked on for the last 15, 16 days. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with a friend. Share with your mom. Your mom would love this. <laughs> is your mom an artist? My mom is an artist. She doesn't claim it, but she she's very artistic. Um, but share this help me move this channel up and spread these videos out and hopefully they're helpful and they can inspire you to either be creative or to find an artist to support um as always i'm jay whitney art and i will talk to you guys next time bye